Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of the Private Property Home Shopper Show. It might be winter, but we still bringing you the heat because behind me there is a three bedroom, three and a half bathroom mansion situated right here in Haldefontein. For those of you who don't know, that is right by Danefern. Guys, this place has got so much to show you, so many custom finishes and also includes your very own tucked away and private cottage. So we're going to be showing you that all. So, I think that's next is the master key and let's get going. Here we are inside this beautiful home right here is the entryway. You'll see that the ceilings reach all the way up in this vaulted ceilings with floor to ceiling windows letting in all that natural light that you might want. But there's so much to talk about in this house. The first thing I'd like to talk about is the front door. Custom wood, custom finishes. You're going to see that custom wood throughout the house and I'm definitely going to be pointing it out because really it is incredible. Take a look at this island here, breakfast nook, however you'd like to call it, right here in the kitchen. Beautiful lighting just above it. In place of a chandelier, you've got these individually spaced bulbs that really do add an air of sophistication to this area. Quartz dining top with your chef's sink right over here. Smeg finishing, really clean, really crisp. Classy smeg right over here. You've got a five top gas burner right in the first time and just below it gas stove as well. Then five ovens. No, 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 four ovens. Four ovens, guys. Four ovens. If you're a chef, if you're a budding cook, guys, this is exactly what you need. But in place of the one oven right over here in the corner, your very own built-in cappuccino machine. It's winter, we all know how you love your coffee. So while you're baking some muffins, while you're whipping up a breakfast, you can have your coffee right over there. On the left, there's a scullery that I'm gonna take you on a walk through, but let's take a look on this side here. Built-in kitchen cabinets, all of it is closed, white lacquered finishes, really crisp, lends in that air of light and freshness to a kitchen that is such a plus. But take a look at this living area, custom couch, super large, you can see the space here. In the ceiling, take a look at the built-in speakers. This home has got a smart home system, so all your music is controlled from one place, from one app, and really, if this isn't an entertainment area that you can find yourself parting the night away, I don't know what is. Windows on my left-hand side bring in a lot of natural light, and then the right-hand side, which we're gonna talk about now, opens up fully and that is an entertainer's dream. But take a look right over there at that fireplace, fireproof glass. I don't even know if I want to continue the video. I might just kick it back here, get myself a drink and catch in a little bit, but so much more to show. So let's show you that pantry, let's show you the scullery area, and then let's head down into the dining room area because there's so much to talk about there. Your scullery is located just off the kitchen. As soon as you'll walk in, you'll notice all your cupboard space, space for dry goods, space for storage. That invaluable space in homes this size is there and easily accessed with those white lacquered cabinets. Then we've got your double sink. So all of your washing and keeping up will be put out of prying eyes. And then as well, plenty of space for your fridge as well as under counter space for all of your appliances. Some other things I'd like to note now that we're talking about space and storage is within the living room area, you'll also find cupboard space hidden to the left and right of the fireplace. And now that we've gotten the scullery out the way, let's come down these steps into the dining room area and what a dining room area this is. I think this might be one of the biggest ones we've ever featured. This is a 22-seater dining room table and just above it, a featured chandelier, beautiful lighting. Again, those wood accents keeping the design elements consistent throughout this house. But one of my favorite features of this area are these stackable glass doors that open up and give you that seamless indoor outdoor living that's so enjoyable in summer, but really in a day like this, a cold winter day in SA, still with that fireplace on is incredible. But now that we are outside, we've got a lot to talk about. Right now is the entertainment area over there. So follow me and let's go take a look at that. And here we are within the outside area, 
beautiful entertainment area here just off the pool with a jacuzzi front and center. But another nice feature here is you've got both a built-in gas bra as well as a built-in charcoal bra. So you can take advantage of both with this overhang here protecting you from the elements, fans, and that speaker system that extends outside. You can enjoy your music. But my favorite spot is always going to be the jacuzzi. Bubbles built in overhanging off the pool. This pool has got that infinity edge, so the pool will just cascade off of the edge while you take a look at the incredible grounds in the Haldefontein Lifestyle Estate. But can you imagine sitting out here on a warm summer day or even a cold winter day? This is a jacuzzi after all. Enjoying the sounds of the Haldefontein Lifestyle Estate in the background, the river bubbling through, the birds chirping and the wind rustling through the trees. Bubbly in hand, champagne with friends, family, loved ones, the bubbles in the jacuzzi going. It is a different way of living and it's a way of living that I think a lot of us would love to enjoy. Now, another feature that goes on with this outdoor area or that pairs with it so nicely is this right here. This built-in bar area. We've got lighting above that matches in the kitchen and if I flip this open and just come on right through, here you are whipping up drinks for friends, for family, entertaining to your heart's delight. Guys, backlighting all over here, speaker system in your bar area, because what is a bar without some banging tunes? And those stackable glass doors shielding you from the elements if you do want to close this off and enjoy some private time. But another thing that I'd like to mention is take a look at these two beautiful wine racks built in over there. And right now, you're gonna follow me because we're gonna run up this hallway, show you a couple more really interesting things, and then we're heading upstairs to show you what the bedrooms in this stunning mansion look like. So coming out of your bar area, you find yourself in the hallway downstairs, and to my right, immediately, I don't know how I'm gonna be able to use this, knowing that the bar is so close, but here, you have your own study, built-in study, one of two located in this home, cupboards all the way on the left hand side and then just in front of me you have access to your very own private outdoor area but beautifully done again with every single room in this home has its very own air conditioning system so you're never going to sweat too much when you're working on those very important documents. Located just past the study is your half bathroom. Now this bathroom's got, got a floating toilet with a hidden cistern and then your very own vanity, beautiful mirror, really nice lighting within this bathroom and then under counter storage. And now we have wrapped right around back into the entry hall with the kitchen right in front of me and off to my left another exit onto your veranda, your patio and those heated pools and jacuzzi. But right now where we're going to be going is upstairs and the quality finishes continue. As I've mentioned you've got a lot of custom finishes in this home and this glass right here is one of those beautiful quality finishes that immediately grabs your eye. Frameless glass just bordering your stairs and the wood on the stairs matches the wood throughout the home. It really is nice to see design elements come together so beautifully. But here we are within your top floor, windows on my left as well as right, bringing a lot of light and a lot of air into this home. And do take note of the lighting on the stairwell, it looks beautiful. Now, on the first floor, there are three bedrooms here. Obviously the creme de la creme, the master suite behind me, two other bedrooms, but in front of me is another study. And let's take a look at that first. Through another custom door frame with custom door, you find yourself in the study. Now this study has got built-in cupboards right here. Lit as well as glass shelf, looks really classy, looks really upmarket and it also has, as I'm sure you've noted, its very own balcony outside looking onto your driveway. Not many studies have that, but plenty of space, plenty of windows, your own aircon, it's not much more you could ever want in your own study. Now, I think it's time to show you guys what you've all been waiting for, the bedrooms. Come along. And now coming across from the study, we're in the first bedroom of the three we'll be showing you. As you can see, plenty of shelving, a recessed area between the cupboards there for a TV, some shelves above it, your own ensuite bathroom with walk-in shower, toilet, very own vanity, under counter storage there, really nicely equipped. And then a raised area here for your bed. Now, this bedroom, as well as the two others, come with their own personal balcony, bulkhead ceiling, so your curtains. Now guys, 
This is an odd thing for me to mention, but I do want to mention is all the curtains, the tops of them are hidden in the ceiling and I think it makes it look so cool. We've seen this in one house before. I really, really do like the design and I definitely want to purchase a home of my own with this design. It's a silly thing, but it's just those small things that make a home feel so upmarket and so classy. So I do like that. Bean bags are super cool. I'm very tempted to jump on one of them, but my old man back. I don't think that's gonna work. So we're gonna head this way. Let me show you the second bedroom before it's time for the creme de la creme. Now, coming into this bedroom, you'll find it has also its own ensuite bathroom, walk-in shower, your own private bathtub, floating toilet with a hidden cistern, and then your vanity there to make sure you can get ready. Spick and span in the morning. Now this bed, is also located on a raised platform. It's not often you see that, but it does give it a sense of grandeur. I like how it's done. Your own private balcony over there, windows, private aircon, plenty of space. I mean, you can see this massive desk in here. I might decide to switch this on and have a couple of games. Everybody's a Call of Duty fan. Put a green heart in the chat there. I want to see who else is a gamer here among us. But nicely done. I love the size of these bedrooms. And this one has quite a cool little feature in that if I come over here, you can swing this TV right through and you can watch it from the bedroom. Really cool. There's storage behind this as well. So they've made good use of that. Off of the platform, you'll notice the bedroom continues leading out onto your very own balcony, looking down onto that stunning blue pool. And then, as you can see, plenty of space located here as well. Space for this two-seater couch and your own coffee table. So you can almost live or at least, should I say, your teenage sons and daughters can almost live as far away from you as possible. And now, guys, it is time. It is time to show you what a master suite in a 16 million rent home in Haldefontein looks like. And boys and girls, you will not be disappointed. So follow me and let's go take... Don't run away, come on, come, come on. And here we are within the master suite. We've got mirrors from wall to wall, beautifully done. And then if you press on the mirrors, the mirror opens up, open sesame, because behind there, there is storage, as well as just underneath these counters, two separate vanities, as you would expect from a master bathroom, as well as this massive pebble bath with a TV just above it. So if you're not drinking champagne downstairs in your jacuzzi, or even in your heated pool, you'll be drinking it upstairs in your pebble bath, walk-in shower, and then obviously the separate toilet section. But that is not all, because just down this hallway, we've got a couple of other very cool things right over here this is where your coffee section would be plug points in here you open this up you can set up some cappuccinos coffee machines and right here if we pull this open we have got your own fridge and there's quite a bit of bubbly in here which might go missing now carry on following me through mirror floor to ceiling over here and the reason there is a floor to ceiling mirror over here is because just over here is a walk-in closet guys oh you know these mansions can't be a mansion without a walk-in closet. Cupboards all the way around. It's a beautiful white lacquer. Again, the wood finishes in this home are all custom. So the wood finishes you see here, custom wood finishes, custom cupboards, all of them open as well as this pedestal right here. Drawers are plenty. So for all your fashionistas out there, guys, this home is for you. But again, there is more. What kind of home would this be without a master suite? that looks as gorgeous as this seamless indoor outdoor living. You can stack these glass doors all the way out. And here we are out on your private balcony overlooking the wonderful wilderness of Hulda Crane Estate. But let me reiterate that question. What kind of home would this be without a TV that rises up from your vanity? I mean, that is pretty classy stuff. Over on this side, you've got your built-in cupboards and drawers, windows overlooking some of the back of the home here, bulkhead ceilings, stunning lighting. Guys, this home doesn't stop impressing and I love it. But this being a three bedroom, three bathroom home, it also includes a cottage and a fully stacked cottage at that. So this is located just above the garage. So we're gonna zoom downstairs out the front door and show you this cottage with its own private entrance.
and here you are within your very own cottage with a separate entrance that wraps around the garages and comes up here so you don't need to disturb anybody in the main home. Either your children can move into here when they're too big for the main home. I'm sure so many of you people know that. Or you can use this as the potential to generate some extra income, which is so important with homes like this. But here we are. You've got a separate kitchen just off to the right hand side. Beautiful wood finishing. And it's a perfect size for you. Plug points over there, bar fridge underneath, plenty of cupboard space, and almost a bar-like shelf behind you with some mirror. Really nice, really quality. And then right over here, I mean, I'm six foot. Take a look at how big the area for the bed is. Window just behind me, window just above the bed. And then right over here, you've got all your cupboard space. But there's a really cool feature to these cupboards. And a lot of you that travel might know this because you've seen it in hotel rooms before. This opens up into the bathroom. So let's give you a quick rundown of what the bathroom's got to offer. So your bathroom is located through your cupboard space. Really cool feature, almost James Bondish, or as James Bondish as a bathroom can get. You've got your floating toilet as well as your private vanity. Lots of undercounter storage and then a walk-in glass framed shower. Really inviting and so nicely done. But coming from your bathroom, you'll find yourself in the living room area. Plenty of windows situated around this cottage. And really, that's probably my favorite feature of this cottage. Not even just how much space this living room area has. Is that so often cottages like this could feel musty or dark or dingy. And this doesn't have those issues. I mean, there are four windows and the sliding door just situated here. So I love how it's been done. So much attention has been paid when building this cottage. And I love that bar area with those unique and once off wood finishes. And right out here, your very own private balcony overlooking your parkade. Nobody's gonna be complaining about living in this cottage. But for myself, Chad Riveros, the team at Private Property and everybody at The Home Shopper Show, I'd like to thank you for tuning in once again to another episode of The Home Shopper Show. This home, this 16 million rand, three bedroom, three and a half bathroom home with your own separate cottage with its own living area, bedroom, bathroom and kitchen is selling for 16 million rand. So what I'd like you to do is contact the agent all of the details on screen right now and schedule a viewing guys you will not regret it so tuning 8 p.m every monday and friday for another episode from myself once again thank you so much and goodbye p.s i know i've said goodbye but ladies and gentlemen take a look at how beautiful this home looks at night